Welcome to my fifth video. I'm making this video from an installation disk I obtained from the store at webhouses.co.uk. It is a multi boot DVD with Windows 12 Lite and Macaulay Linux, which is said to be African for Big Chief. You can see this on the screen now. So we choose Windows 12 Lite and we install light now and while that's going on uh, I can tell you some, some other things we're going to do the multi-boot uh, DVD also has Supergroup 2 on it so you can boot up any operating system you have on your hard drive this is needed if you have a virus in your Windows and you have to reinstall Windows. Windows hates any other operating system and deletes the startup screen when you're dual or multiple booting. You then can reinstall Grub of the any, or any of the operating systems you have installed. This video covers the installation of Windows 12 Lite which installs in about 15 minutes. You see, as the installation in this video is in real time, you can see it, it uh, will take, take uh, a short amount of time. I will say, show you how to set the desktop up, up and uh, add, add a slideshow to the desktop. Also, there's a, we will make a quick tutorial on Thunderbird, Mail and LibreOffice and a tutorial on GIMP. All that are in, in the menu found by the feather on the left of the bottom panel. Pan, uh, panel. I hope you like this video, so please tell your friends and share on social media. Please comment as well, as helpful advice is appreciated. Please watch it to the end as I hope the tutorial on setting up the desktop and the, uh, will, will be of great help. There is not a day goes by that I do not do a few seconds of GIMP to add an image to, uh, to Facebook or, uh, or Twitter. You must boot from a DVD or USB by inserting the DVD, switching off and switching on again. If you have Windows on your, your hard drive, ensure it is not hibernating by switching off whilst holding down the shift key. You can, you can then boot, if you do not see the boot menu, in your BIOS not set up properly, you must set your BIOS to boot first from the USB then the DVD ROM from the hard drive. Now this is the first question they ask uh, what language we click English and continue then it asks for the keyboard and we put an English keyboard and then we leave download updates while installing and we add install third-party so software because that is very useful it saves set, uh, setting your up later now this takes a moment i think this is the one now uh, this screen here if you have windows the first option we would say we found Windows, do you want to install alongside? Take that option because that is a dual boot option. I don't have Windows so I just click on the first option there, erase this and install Ubuntu. See, Windows Lite is based on Ubuntu so the repositories and everything, uh, they are all Ubuntu based. Now it asks where you are, it's found, I live in London because it's found the Ethernet uh, and, and found my location. But you could change that if you wanted to. Uh, but it, set, it sets different time zones up if you do that. Click continue and then it uh, 
it wants to know your name and set your password so I put my friend Gina Millen down yeah, because I have an email address of Gina at ginamiller.co.uk so if you want to contact me um, go to that uh, email uh, address now the usual rules on on uh, passwords must apply must be complicated but you must be able to remember it because if you don't you've got to do all this again now if, if you have other people in the house you uh, leave it as it is if you're all by yourself and you're not paranoid then you can click on log, log in automatically and continue now it should start the slideshow. So, if you have not been able to boot because your BIOS is not set up, you can find your BIOS usually. It tells you on the first flash screen what to do. It's usually repeatedly pressing Escape or F10, F8 or F2 or on some laptops like Lenovo have a small hole which you use a paper clip or iPhone SIM card opening tool to enter the BIOS. If all else fails Google your machine to find out what way you get to the BIOS. If you have a Chromebook you cannot do anything and it's best to bin it in and buy a good laptop. If you are using Mac you can install Windows 12 uh, but you must use a, a, a DVD with just Windows 12 on it and you can dual boot. In the BIOS go to the boot menu, boot menu and change to boot from the USB first then DVD. If you have no DVD ROM drive your BIOS is already set to USB. Some but all the biases require you to have a USB plugged in, otherwise it will not be put on the menu. If you are using a USB, do not look at the Windows as it hates Linux and encourages you to reformat it as it says it does not recognize it as it is formatted as ISO 9660. This is not actually true, as if you put an ISO 966 DVD in it, read it perfectly well. So, uh, since I have no images in my pictures uh, on this new install, uh, I will use certain, uh, certain pictures I, I can uh, grab, grab from the website. So. Well, uh, the first thing we'll do is to have uh, have a screenshot, uh, a, a, a slideshow on, on the desktop, uh, and you can you can add to the slideshow if you want to. You can have your your, your own per personal pictures of your wife or husband or children or whatever you else you want to, or you can have it static. Uh, it's, it's entirely up to you now uh, the uh, DVD also has Super Group 2 on them which, uh, 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 which uh, I, I said you, you need to re reinstall uh, Windows if it has um, a virus you can see help on installing at webhouses.uk oblique light, oblique help on installing the PHP then we add uh, uh, we, we can take some of the text from there and put it into LibreOffice where we also will be doing a, a, a demonstration on LibreOffice and, uh, and Thunderbird to set up your mail client now in the slideshow uh, tells you all the things you, you, you need um, and um, how we can he get help um, and 
and um, how, how it's made up it's available for everybody to share uh, so it's say, basically was designed for people who were on Windows 7 which has lost its um, help now and viruses spreading widely for that uh, so you uh, you've got the forums uh, and and they will uh, they will be shown on the first screen uh, of the desktop when you first boot uh, and then we browse the internet with Firefox uh, and, and email with Thunderbird um, and also connect with friends and family on your fa favorite social media platforms Microsoft Office is compatible to any LibreOffice it's a powerful old, uh, office suite it's actually better than the Microsoft Office the only one thing it doesn't do is p uh, edit PDF files and when it does edit PDF files it makes a lot of mistakes and you have more work to do anyway but you can do that on the web, web anyway so Windows Lite offers powerful media features that's VLC which is recording this at the moment and GIMP uh, which is the uh, like photo uh, uh, imaging tool um, and um, so uh, it supports a lot of uh, hardware in, in fact you will probably never find any uh, any hardware it doesn't support otherwise you will have to go to the manufacturers and get uh, one uh, applying to Ubuntu uh, it's a Steam uh, for gamers um, and uh, it has NVIDIA drivers uh, th which was a, a problem before but now Linux has that it also has Play on Linux Play on Linux is very important you must lo load Play on Linux because then you can run uh, windows.exec files uh, Play on Linux has uh, pre-installed loads of loads of games uh, Office uh, uh, Photoshop uh, the Dreamweaver uh, and, and so you can run those on the top of Windows uh, the, the Windows like desktop so the, the, there's a the forums where, as I say are listed on, on the front page of the uh, uh, the uh, of the desktop when you switch on, and you can always recover that when you uh, 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 when you, you uh, delete it, uh, or you can leave leave it um, leave it to keep uh, appearing every time if you want any help. You don't need to upgrade for three three months. Uh, but um, um, th there is a, there is a, a terminal upgrade which we need to do uh, because it, it doesn't find some some uh, software in, in Ubuntu which we need. So for, uh, uh, second thing we will do is use a terminal and do apt in, uh, updates update uh, uh, right. So um, that uh, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll install FileZilla and Genie now these are two very useful tools uh, apps for uh, designing websites and so you'll be able to design websites and I'll show, show you a place where you can get domain names uh, and uh, uh, hosting is very inexpensively and uh, uh, with all the tools and, 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 and tutorials to set that up so uh, we, uh, we'll install those from a terminal and the other uh, way of installing is from the synaptic pa packet manager which is it just says install software and then uh, we enter chrome uh, for the chromium browser and uh, KDE N live 
a video editor which I might have to edit this video with uh, so we we'll, we can do those and uh, the third way of installing it is just going to the web uh, the website of the of the um, original ones and uh, download uh, the latest versions uh, if they've not been updated in in the Ubuntu rep, uh, repositories, um, but uh, mo most uh, have been updated in its version. Uh, Gimp 2.10 is uh, there, but you could actually install Gimp Flatpak, uh, which uh, doesn't make any di real difference. But uh, I, I've, I've found uh, that they do have a Flatpak version. Um, and th th this is a special way of, of installing uh, so uh, so we we will we we'll take some pictures uh, images from from the website we take some text uh, and, and put into LibreOffice uh, we'll make a, a uh, an email address in Thunderbird and, and show you how, how to add up more email addresses uh, it uses mail.com uh, which is very uh, very good uh, uh, mail service because you can uh, use Thunderbird or any uh, email client to access your mails but it also allows you to uh, to have the uh, uh, have your emails by the uh, website uh, uh, web servers uh, on, on about by your, your browsers uh, we'll also put in Chrome on as well as Firefox because uh, when we do the set, uh, uh, do websites we we need to check uh, the uh, uh, that the, it looks good on both both Firefox and Chrome uh, so we click install now and now it's going to ask us to remove the software uh, the, the media and uh, when that comes up we can remove the media right so now it's, it's asking to remove the media uh, so I have to um, uh, here we go. Is uh, right. I've got to get the media. Uh, uh, it's a multi CD. Uh, yes. 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 No, that's not right. So we have to go to here, multi CD, and I have to inject it. Right, that has removed the media because my button doesn't work on my um, desktop uh, driver. Then, so we we then start up up again without the media this time and it should start installing uh, this you, you would normally see a screen here of, with a feather with Windows and Windows 12 Lite ah right now okay so this is this is your, your first screen and this uh, this uh, you can remove but um, you can leave it popping up every time until you're familiar with it it gives you online support help manual in fact a very good help manual uh, which you get help straight away or go to the forums and ask your question very helpful forums uh, and uh, you can contribute there to the uh, makers of uh, uh, of light that's not us uh, that's the um, 
uh, Linux Lite uh, who, who made the original this is just a clone uh, you can install language support as, as well uh, that's extra languages uh, but what, what, what I, uh, I will do is show you other little things uh, that we can do so we close this down and we make a slideshow how we do that we go to the slide uh, we go to the desktop we look at all uh, you see it's got a DVD burner uh, um, so I show you how to put those on your desktop we click desktop and then we have all the wallpapers now there's the beach uh, what beach I don't know could be anywhere really in the world except uh, England <laughs> or Spain <laughs> I don't know maybe Spain's got palm trees then it's got some foreign car which nobody can afford to drive They've got not an insurance costs more than the car uh, and in this folder here XFCE you can add more pictures and you can add those to the desktop so you can change the background and we'll do it every minute uh, oh not in a minute a minute and then close that down so we keep changing so every minute our desktop will change now uh, what we'll do is go to FileZilla and uh, get some pictures uh, because we have no pictures yet so uh, we go to webhouses dot co dot uk and we take this first picture because I want to take this picture out in GIMP or anything else there that's my old car uh, my old car was um, I sold then uh, it's a, it was a diesel and ever since then I had uh, many many trips to the High Court to explain to them that I no longer owned it that's the way it goes in England you write to DVLC you tell them you sell it but nobody else they never update for a month and these people they think they never check they check the first time but never check afterwards and and they have this outrageous system where you're not even allowed to go to court at the fir first uh, one they don't tell you about the court date you're not allowed to de defend yourself uh, so we, we uh, put this uh, call it uh, uh, image one ah oh, image one and we put it in pictures and save it there so now if you want to sell your house here go to selling uh, it gives you instructions how to you can sell your house for free here uh, now I want to get uh, uh, okay uh, oh that custom one and there's my old car uh, I don't want that castle I think there's a na nicer castle somewhere um, and maybe it was wrong ah that, that's it yeah okay uh, okay save image as hopefully yes oh it's got it's got devices castle so I saved that one uh, now actually um, actually I think that ah, yes we, we want we want to save this one here now if you click on this one you go you go and get your domain name and your hosting uh, for 17 pound 50 a year uh, so 
you, with, with Windows 12 Lite, you can do absolutely everything. As I said, with Fire Sale and Genie, you, you click on this. It's a, uh, it's uh, one we will we'll, uh, use, and you can go go and get uh, um, uh, instructions about everything. Uh, we'll we we'll say save image, and uh, we'll call it for sale because we're going to make it into for sale board and we'll put it outside our house all right now uh, we will we'll get to up uh, uh, office a new document Clicking on that, and we get off it LibreOffice up. Right, that's taking its time. So what I want to do now is go in. Ah, there we is coming. Right. Uh, we don't need it at the moment, so we, because we haven't, haven't got it. So go to light. And uh, help on installing dot php. So this gives you a um, uh, a view of the desktop. Oh, here, here incidentally, this is it. Where is it? This is a screenshot. Uh, one of these. Ah, there is. That was. That's what you use for installing your software. So we'll add that to the desktop later. Uh, we just take this uh, a bit of text there. Uh, Right, so we can control C to copy it and we go to LibreOffice and control V to paste it there. Um, it hasn't taken the feather icons uh, which I, I, I'd have to copy. But it's funny enough it's taken that. Uh, so. Uh, it's taking the light, light one as well. I didn't understand that, but anyway. So uh, we'll we'll say, save this with in documents. So we say Control S, and we call it uh, first document. Uh, first document. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, oh yes, so uh, we need to, as I said, install some software. So, what we do to avoid using sudo every time you do something in a terminal. You do it only once by doing sudo su to go to a super user. You put your password in, and now you can install it. Now, the first thing we want to do, we should almost do, is an apt update. It's a pretty useful function to it always do this uh, at the beginning uh, as there, there are a lot of updates in, in the repositories and when that's finished we want to install FileZilla and Genie uh, the, for making websites 
but this is really a, a tutorial on how to install programmers uh, but, uh, we could ru run tho those right so but we can leave that for the uh, for later if you want to click on the red button uh, the button and and um, to websites not everybody need, wants to make websites now we do genie as well yes. right genie is the editor that uh, Fazilla uses it it does it everything it the coding and uh, normal text as well and it's intuitive right so there we are finish with that now Alright, so right, to be, um, we we could have uh, typed genie genie uh, in the terminal or files uh, uh, the program will have started up and any program you have it will uh, install right. So if we look at the menu now, the internet now has uh, files uh, We add that to the panel and um, and accessories um, I'm not sure where genie is so we type genie in the search bar and then we add that to the panel yeah there's a reason for doing that to put them together because when you're doing websites uh, they, they, they should be together otherwise you're running around uh, so that is how you you add programs let's add a few more uh, the internet we can add this one to the desktop you do a right click add to the desktop we don't need to do it the panel and Thunderbird we can uh, add to the desktop and we add it to the panel because we do a lot, a lot of um, uh, of emails. Now, let's start the email tutorial. It's only a quick, brief view of it. It comes up. It's found my name, so we put in a new address. at mail.com which as I said is a very good service because you can also get it on the browser enter your password and uh, click on done and then you look at the inbox right now I've sent to this uh, address from Gina Miller uh, to uh, some helpful things so we we copy it all we copy it all and we put it into uh, uh, I, funny. I really should have put LibreOffice in, in the um, on the bottom panel uh, right so internet office I put it on the dot bottom panel now and uh, open it now it's got a new document so I put our helpful fit features that's where uh, we're going to work through 
So this is uh, what we're, we're working through. And uh, so we control save again and we call it uh, work. Of course, that's our files it as a dot odt. You see above here, it says dot work dot odt. Uh, if I save as an and put dot doc, uh, it it would have filed it as a Microsoft Office document uh, or dot text. It doing it text. The one only one it doesn't do is dot pdf. And uh, you to do a, a pdf, you open export as export as a pdf document and you export it and um, you set save it there so so we got two now uh, saved uh, i've not saved this one uh, say oh perhaps i have yeah, i didn't notice it in the file menu Right. Um, a little bit more about Thunderbird. If you if you see a bold entry of an email, you can click on that and add another email there. Uh, now, this one hasn't come up. Um, but it does have a very good calendar on the right hand side um, so I'm not sure how to get to that now hmm. Hmm. But I'll show, I'll show you, it, it does have one uh, activity for this preferences. This is a bit better. Anyway, let's get on. So, that's done the bird. And uh, now uh, we've seen, we've seen LibreOffice. Um, LibreOffice um, is another thing with a LibreOffice. You can make yeah, it's a new a text document spreadsheet presentation drawing formula or uh, HTML document. Now that is useful if you're making things for the web uh, web uh, and you can uh, you can edit it. Uh, edit and file it as an HTML document. We won't do that. So now we'll move on to GIMP. Ah, this is the meadow. It's nice to see in the morning the sunrise, and sometimes this pops up when I switch on in the morning. The uh, we we can raise GIMP. From here, oh, did we not put GIMP on there? Hmm. I thought I put GIMP on there. Well, okay. Um, graphics, GIMP, add to the panel. Right, okay. It's <coughs> we'll start GIMP again. And we'll make a flagpole. So we make uh, create a new image. We want the height of the flagpole to be say six hundred. Six hundred. And the wind. And we'll make that 20, I would think. We'll spare the wood. 
OK. Now, because it had a red, uh, we can change the colour if we wanted to. Make a blue flag pool, so we use a, the eyedropper, choose a colour, and click OK. Then, with the bucket fill, there we will fill it. Oh, we got the wrong colour. So bucket fill. So we now a blue flagpole. So we can copy the flagpole and we'll open open the castle. Here we are. There's the castle. So we want to put the uh, flagpole in there. So we can paste. And we knew that we have to use a use a rectangle to move things. And we put the flagpole there. Then we go to image and flatten the image so the flagpole is there. Now we want to make a billboard. So we open the for sale board. Now we want to get the colour of the of the uh, board because we oh oh sorry, sorry. We, that's it that's the wrong one hmm. cancel so that wasn't a very good demonstration uh, we opened one I did originally uh, yes yeah, for saying that this this is the one right that's what I'm going to create. So uh, we want to get the cover. We use the eyedropper, click on there, and we've got the cover now in this round, right? Uh, we use the paintbrush and we delete. We delete all the writing. Right. So. Now we want to switch to white writing, so we put that as the foreground by changing the active foreground yeah. and this little little uh, right angle corner. Right, so we use a text tool and we we can write in here uh, is it a little easier if you can copy something in so I take that for sale control C to copy it and Control V to put it in. 
it's not big enough so we increase the size by going to the two options and text increasing the size we made it too big so let's just make it a little bit bigger still yes yeah, okay yes let's center it a little bit more right so for sale is there so we go to the image we flatten the image then we can add some more text so we make it we make another sp uh, space there uh, another text box we go to work document copy these two Control copy then we say control V now of course they're too big again so reduce the size I overdone it right so we can we can move it down a bit center that one a little bit and moving it along right now we can uh, flatten it uh, image flatten image now we make another text box Increase the size to fit in too much, and then we have our for sale card. We go to image, plus an image. Right, this is our for sale sign, so we'll put it on top of the flagpole. So we we edit, copy it go to our pictures and with the rectangle we then uh, we then paste it so we go to edit paste it and we put it on top of the flagpole now it is a little bit too large so we go to our other one, our four stay sign. So we reduce the size by going to image, scale image, and make it 250, 250, scale, go back to that. too sure if it's the same one just get that out of the way uh, and go back here um, and I copy and then I, I paste uh, edit paste Paste. 
test. We didn't go there, is there? Uh, well, yes, there it's reduced it. Then we can flatten it. Image. Flatten image. And then we we export as uh, the basic castle two well with uh, with board export and there we are saved it. Now, um, let us also use another one we created. We'll open the image one. Now, as I said before, it's Ah, I see. There we are. We moved off site. Now, uh, can we go to rectangle. Is this a rectangle? Yes. We want to take out a picture from this. So, we want to save this picture, so we do control X and control shift and V and we have a new picture. So then we can save that as a mobile phone backup. By exporting it as oh, export, and then we can go skip down. Usual way, discard changes, and there we are at the background again. Well, I hope you like the video. Ask any questions down below. Uh, if, uh, if you like this video, please tell your friends and share on social media. Please comment as well as helpful advice is appreciated. And I hope you liked it and you can start gimping straight away. Uh, thank you. Uh,